What's good? This is Ramen on Wheels, and I will be telling you guys stories differently today. I will tell you stories, but each story will only be two sentences long. So you tell me guys if you like this or not, if you found it creepy, or which story you like the most. So let's get it. <laughs> First story. I woke up hearing knocking on glass. At first, I thought it was the window until I heard it coming from the mirror. Second story. Growing up with cats and dogs, I got used to the sound of scratching at my door while I slept. Now that I live alone, it's much more unsettling. Third story. In all the time that I lived alone in this house, I swear to God I've closed more doors than I've opened. A girl heard her mom calling her name downstairs, so she got up and started to head downstairs. As she got to the stairs, her mom pulled her into her room and said, I heard that too. <laughs> that one was creepy, you guys. My wife woke up this morning to tell me that there was an intruder in the house. However, she was murdered by an intruder two years ago. Whoa. I woke up to the sound of a baby monitor crackling with a voice comforting my firstborn child. As I adjusted to the new position, my arm brushed up against my wife sleeping next to me. There's a stranger in your house. I always thought my cat had a staring problem. She was always fixated on my face until one day I realized that she was always looking just behind me. There's nothing like laughter of a baby until it's 1 a.m. and you're home alone. <laughs> I was having a pleasant dream when what sounded like hammering woke me up. After that, I could barely hear the muffled sounds of dirt covering the coffin over my own screams. Wow. I began tucking my son into bed and he says, Daddy, check under my bed for monsters. I look under the bed just to amuse him and my son was under the bed saying, Daddy, there's someone in my bed. Boom, boom, boom. I can't move, breathe, speak, or hear. It's so dark all the time. If I knew it would have been so lonely, I would have been cremated instead. <laughs> That one's kind of funny. She went upstairs to check on her sleeping toddler. The window was open and the bed was empty. Ooh, that one kind of hurt. Oh man, someone stole your baby lady. I never go to sleep, but I keep waking up. Hmm, I don't get that one. My daughter won't stop crying and screaming in the middle of the night. I visit her grave and ask her to stop, but it doesn't help. Ew. After working a hard day, I came home to see my girlfriend cradling our child. I don't know what's more frightening, seeing my dead girlfriend and stillborn baby, or knowing that someone broke into my house and placed them there. Wow. 
so many things wrong with that. There was a picture in my phone of me sleeping, but I live alone. So yeah, those are the stories, the little short stories. I kind of like doing those. I might do those again. I might not. It depends on what you guys think. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Uh, do you do what you do? Like, comment, and subscribe if that's what you want to do. If not, I'll catch you guys on the flip sides. Uh, see you guys later. Shauna and Ramen is out. Happy Halloween, you guys, and deuces.